Guys and gals, it's Jason here from Ridgeline Overlanding. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. So this is part two in our Close to Home series. Checking out the Chilliwack River Valley. If you've not seen part one, do go watch that right away and then come back to this one afterwards. So we're going to be exploring the Chipmunk Creek Forest Service Roads as well as Foldy Creek Forest Service Road and then taking the scenic route back out through the Bench Road and over the Elk Mountain uh, viewpoint area. Anyway, enjoy the ride. Let's do it. Hey, before I get busy editing video and doing my voiceovers and whatnot, let's do some housekeeping. Um, you might give me a like here, maybe subscribe. Interact in the comments. I answer all the comments. Let's chat. Well, let's see how we do. It's been pretty grippy so far, but it's easy to be grippy when you're on flat ground. I'd say we've officially hit the snow level. Some might call this risk out here by ourselves, but I uh, would not call it unnecessary risk. Nothing uh, shuffle and some max tracks can't get us out of. And probably nothing the Honda Ridgeline can't get us through. In case you wonder what shoes we're wearing today, we have got the Michelin X Ice. Obviously a winter tire. 265-6018. All right, this did not look like this in the summer. A little bit of snow piling up. Maybe, maybe with a spotter. Absolutely 100% not on my own. Nice little creek though. Quick gratuitous shot of the ridge line. It is a little slippery out here. Hey, Oakley. So we're gonna back ourselves up. We'll go turn ourselves around back there. All right, so we are at the 775 meter mark. Snow is starting to thin out again. So let's keep on cruising here. Um, see how far we make it up Foldy Lake. It looks like we really got lucky going up Thurston because so much of it was exposed uh, facing uh, facing south. And so we had lots of sun exposure and uh, lots of melting. So that's the only reason we made it up as far as we did. While we were eating lunch, that blue sky wasn't even there. So it is opening back up again, which is nice. Crazy steep. Well, okay, it's not crazy steep, but it's pretty steep. But she's in good shape. So let's climb on up this. Man, I feel like I'm being pressed way back into my seat. This is one of the steeper climbs I've done. Hopefully it doesn't end before it begins. This looks manageable, but I can't even see it actually. Going in nice and slow. I could not, it's so steep I couldn't even see how deep it was. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it's snowing up here. So the reason I'm including all this extra footage here and the side shots and whatnot is because, well, one, it gives him some practice doing some uh, external camera work. And two, it provides some context. You know, when you're just shooting from the dash, you can't really show what you're driving through. And um, yeah, the camera tends to dull it all down anyway. So let's have a look from some side shots. And uh, you can see that, you know, it really doesn't take much, even with a lifted truck, to, to be scraping and, and bumping a little bit. see if we can appreciate it any better walking down it the transition isn't that big but this hill right here is quite steep so if we look back this way or better yet step in inside the creek itself I've been in steeper I've been in deeper but even these you've got to respect that loose shale 
you know, that's where you're catching your skid plates, your control arms. Sometimes your exhaust. It is what it is. Just heading down the bottom here, a bottom stretch of Chipmunk FSR. 396 meters elevation. Said goodbye to the snow. Might be. Let's see how we do. such flat ground here. I'm assuming those are chunks of ice and not rocks banging against my undercarriage. Either way, the bridge line might be light duty, but it ain't that light duty. Well, this Foley is just uh, one <laughs> mini lake after another. Chunks of ice. Now we're back to snow. 390 meters, we're not exactly climbing much, but we're here for an adventure. Uh, they don't call me Magellan, but this is uh, probably Foley Creek. Right next to the road, heading in the general direction we are going in. And that's back where we came. And there's the keeping dirty Honda Ridgeline. How you guys doing? Hey. Right, so it's at this point that we have decided, well, checking out Foley Creek, we are not going to continue on to Foley Lake. I probably won't make it. Uh, there's a lot of side-by-side -side traffic on the road as well. It's pretty narrow. I don't want to be the one guy in a truck piddling along up here while these guys are trying to race around in their uh, high-performance machines. Not only that, but time says we should probably head back because I want to take the bench road all the way up to Elk Mountain, back down the other side, and then go intercept Gabby uh, on her way back from Sasquatch. We're just cruising the uh, last stretch of the Kilowatt Bench Forest Service Road. Looks like we're not too far from the Elk Mountain Trailhead. Familiar territory. Then we will be hitting pavement. So I'm going to air back up and we'll uh, jump the highway, hop over the freezing river, and head on up towards Sasquatch Mountain. Wow, must be near the Elk Mountain Trailhead. Look at all these cars. These views never get old. All right, I guess it's about that time to get the train back into the station. So thank you so much for tuning in. Always a pleasure to hang out and share some of my adventures with you. Any comments are most appreciated. Constructive criticism, all that kind of good stuff. I do interact with my commenters quite regularly. So come on back for part three where we're going to be checking out... Um, Slessy Creek FSR as well as Borden Creek and a couple of other neat spots that I can't even pronounce. Uh, Nesakwich, I think it is. So lots of great photos and videos coming up on part three. So again, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, and you know there's going to be a next time, go play outside. <laughs>